State lawmakers were back in Lansing today to kick off the new legislative session and make history with their new slate of leaders. 13 on your site's Josh Albertus joins us now with more on what happened today, Josh. That's right. Today was the first day for the new state legislature that featured multiple groundbreaking elections and a shift in the balance of power. And let's now get to work. A day of firsts at the Michigan State Capitol as lawmakers were sworn in for the 102nd legislature. Democrats taking control of both chambers for the first time in 40 years. It is significant that the gavel is changing hands from Republicans to Democrats for the first time in four decades. In the Senate, the first member of the LGBTQ community to serve as President Pro Tempore and the first woman to serve as Senate Majority Leader, Grand Rapids Democrat Winnie Brinks. It is deeply humbling to realize that as the first woman to be elected Senate Majority Leader, my portrait will soon join that of Senator Eva McCall Hamilton as one of the few women whose portraits grace the walls of this Capitol. And in the House of Representatives, Joe Tate of Detroit becoming the first black speaker of the House. Congratulations. While Democrats now hold slim majorities in both chambers, 20 to 18 in the Senate and 56 to 54 in the House, leaders expressed the need for reaching across the aisle after being elected to their posts on a widely bipartisan basis. Our commonalities are greater than our differences. And the people of Michigan, they're counting on us to get the job done. Now, Republicans on the floor express similar hopes of working together with the new leaders and majorities. With lawmakers now sworn in, they'll now be preparing to bring new legislation to the floor for upcoming sessions. Reporting from the newsroom, Josh Albertus, 13 on your side.